In New York, around 20,000 people have staged a march demanding jobs and economic fairness. Hot off the Occupy movement protest, it was organized by labor unions who've been demanding change. Our correspondent Marina Bordnaya was there. This event has been organized by the New York City Labor Council. That is an umbrella group for more than 300 unions. And the reason these people say they're out on the street is that they are frustrated and fed up with the uh, economic disparity between the rich and poor. They say with more than 14 million Americans unemployed at the moment, the 1%, the richest 1% in America, has tripled its wealth in the past 30 years. What this shows is that the uh, sentiments that have been echoed by the Occupy Wall Street movement for over the past two months are now being voiced by labor unions at a larger scale. Uh, we did see labor unions join Occupy Wall Street a month or so ago, but that turnout was not as large as this one. The people taking part in this event are walking around with signs that say we are the 99 percent. We are the backbone uh, and the working class of the United States that is being Ignored. Working people across this country, and as we can see internationally, are suffering because the people who've been making all the money, making bad decisions, now they want what little we have left. And if people don't come out now and make sure their voices are heard, then we're lost. Listen, I work hard every day. At the end of the week, don't even have two nickels to rub together. Looks like you're not you know, the only one. There's no, thousands of people walking the streets. And when I tell you, work hard every day. Get up 4.30 every morning. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Try to send my kids to school. It's crazy. It's crazy. Fed up. That's what it is. People are finally fed up. The irony here is that uh, on Wednesday, the U.S. President Barack Obama was in New York City for three fundraisers for his re-election campaign. One of those fundraisers cost more than $35,000 per ticket to attend. So many here say that that shows a clear disconnect between the elected officials in the United States and what is being voiced by the, uh, the constituents. And they say that if things are not changed, the crowd that you see out here will multiply by uh, an enormous amount in the coming months. Reporting from New York, Marina Pornaya, RT.